All right, sick. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. This is an off script video. I haven't put out a video in, I think, over 30 days. I'm working on a couple projects, multiple projects, actually. They're very big in their reviews. Um, we're doing a Vanguard review, so I've been playing that. And then Halo Infinite surprisingly dropped on Monday. So because of that, I have not been able to finish the Vanguard video because I've been playing so much Halo Infinite because I'm doing a Halo Infinite review as well. And I've been editing videos for Actman and other stuff like that. So I woke up this morning and I was just thoroughly impressed with 343 this past week uh, for multiple reasons. And I wanted to just make this quick video on it. Hopefully it's not too long, but I pretty much have everything I want to say in my head. So Hopefully we can talk about it and we can have a discussion in the comments and what all that good stuff. If you guys don't mind dropping a like, if that'd be greatly appreciated. I don't really know how many of you are going to watch this, but hopefully it gets out there to other people and all that good stuff. So I know with the holidays coming up, a lot of people are prioritizing their money and all that stuff. But Code Foxy is 30% off at gfield.com right now. If you guys want to go use my code, you guys will get 30% off your entire purchase from now until the 22nd of November. Really, really appreciate you guys going over there and using my code and all that stuff. But yeah, without further ado, let's go, bros. I am so proud of 343 because of all the backlash that they got with Halo 5 story, all the backlash that they got with MCC, deservingly, everything that they pretty much got backlash for was deserving. Like they got that backlash for a good reason. And when I say backlash, I mean, they deserve the criticism that they received, not the toxic stuff. I mean, the constructive criticism and the honest opinions of the fans. I've been saying this since the first multiplayer flight for Halo Infinite. If Halo Infinite has an insanely awesome campaign and they do it right, and the multiplayer is as fun as it was during the flights, but even better in the full game, this game can be game of the year. And it will be the best first person shooter of 2021. I know the game of the year polls are closed, but in my opinion, and I have not played the campaign, but apparently because all the YouTubers and stuff like that played the campaign, and they've kind of told us about it and or at least the first four hours about it all of them are saying it's really really good and a lot of people are saying that it blew their expectations away and they cannot wait for everyone to play it and i don't think that this is one of those scenarios like in cod ghosts where you know 343 is telling all the youtubers oh make sure you guys say it's really good like no it's not going to be it's not like that um i because i know that the YouTubers that cover Halo, they would be telling us if they didn't like something, which they did. Some of them did in their reviews and stuff like that. Uh, I watched a Hidden Xperia. Uh, I pretty much just watched his review and I've been seeing things on Twitter about how people are really enjoying uh, or really enjoying the game or they're, they really enjoyed the campaign and they said it blew away their expectations. And even in Hidden Xperia's video, he talked about certain things that he disliked which is good because if you have a review or a semi review of the campaign and you're not giving all like all the honest feedback, I mean, you know, it's just, that's not right. In my opinion, in the past six years, we've seen a lot of things happen with video games. We've seen a lot of uh, different changes from microtransactions and loot boxes being taken out to, you know, a battle pass system where, you know, they rely on microtransactions. And 343 has been honest with us about everything, including the battle pass and including how microtransactions are going to work. And anyone who like, has a beef with the microtransactions and did not think that Halo Infinite would have expensive microtransactions, you, you should have saw it coming. Everyone should have seen it coming. I know I did. And a lot of the criticism around the microtransactions in Halo Infinite are valid. And I think that 343 is going to answer some of those and fix certain things. Um, once again, I think a lot of people don't know this as well. 343 does not have control over the prices. Microsoft does. And some people will come to me and say, and I actually had someone say this on Twitter. They were like, nope, they're one in the same. No, no, they're not. 343 is the developer. They make the game and then they answer to Microsoft on what they can ship. It's the same deal with loot boxes and the rec pack system. It's the same deal. Microsoft is in charge of the microtransactions and when things get pushed out. 343 is there to just meet those deadlines. Now I'll get into the microtransactions in a separate video or in the Halo Infinite review video, but I will say this. I do think that the microtransactions are a tad bit expensive. I know the game is free to play. That's good and all, but I feel like 343 and Microsoft have been 
pushing the envelope as far as okay we're not going to be like everybody else as far as microtransactions and the battle pass goes then you know things like that they've pretty much taken the lead and they've seen what call of duty has done they've seen what fortnite has done they're seeing what battlefield is doing which i don't even know what they're doing and they're like okay you know what if these people are going to make mistakes then we're going to capitalize on it and we are going to push our game to the forefront to be the front runner and to be the model of what games should be i hope that makes sense pretty much they're taking the ball and they're running with it i think it's a damn shame how colors are locked behind a paywall essentially and behind the you know the battle pass and things like that that's a shame i would love for them to allow us to customize our colors in any way we want uh, but i just don't think that's going to happen the, the way that the system works is it's kind of built around that so you know but we will see that's that's something for a different video but i don't think a lot of people were surprised but the progression system in halo infinite was not good in the beginning and when i say the beginning i mean monday <laughs> that's how quick this has been turned around if you guys don't know what the progression system is in halo infinite pretty much there's no regular xp there's no rank which is a damn shame and they're looking into it thankfully good job 343 but pretty much your only rank is the battle pass and in order to rank up your battle pass you have to complete challenges and the problem with that in the beginning was you never got xp for completing a match that's just bad it was it was awful i played eight hours for the first two days of infinite and i leveled up to like level three or four of the battle pass i was like good god this is awful uh, the gameplay's great the, i love the game the game's so fun but when you're not progressing in the battle pass and when you're not ranking up at all and not unlocking things that are so cool in the battle pass it's just like okay i'm just sitting here grinding and i don't even get xp for completing a match so two days after everyone was just up in arms complaining and pretty much bitching out 343 respectively and appropriately because it, it's, it's bullshit. 343 decided to make a fix two days, two days after the game had already been released. And mind you, this is still a beta, I, beta. They are, they're calling it the Halo Infinite beta, but I don't really know how much of a beta it is. I feel like once December 8th rolls around, this will be the full game that we have. Um, I'm hoping that they include more modes once the game launches, like SWAT and Team Snipers and stuff like that. But it's just a beta. There's plenty of maps and there's plenty and there's a good enough or a, a good amount of modes that we can play throughout those maps. There's a, a lot of different combinations. And like I said before, with Microsoft having the final say, it looks like Microsoft is allowing 343 to kind of like take the wheel in a sense for the most part. I know there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes as far as microtransactions go. Trust me, because with the Call of Duty scene, there's a lot that went on as far as like the microtransactions and things like that went. And the reason why, you know, we have a battle pass instead of supply drops now. So for all of you that don't realize that there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes right there. Uh, so I'm sure that they are working on something for the microtransactions and they're trying to uh, be, uh, trying to um, accommodate everybody as best as possible. So now every single time that you play a match in Halo Infinite, you get 50 XP every single time, whether you win or lose. And in my opinion, you should get extra XP if you win the match. That's just my deal. But, you know, it's, it, you know, it's up to, you know, it, it's pretty much how it goes. The one thing 343 really needs to do is implement an actual ranking system. Personally, I would prefer Halo 3, but I just wanted to say that I'm so proud of them because they went from pretty much going silent for multiple years as far as MCC goes and like not really like obviously they were working behind the scenes. But at one time, 343 was looked at as very stubborn in their ways and not trying to continue the legacy that Bungie left behind. And now it just seems like they're embracing it and they're just trying to do what the fans want to the best of their ability and they're trying to accommodate everybody you know i'm one of those guys that doesn't like sprint and halo games but that's just me that's my preference kill me in the comments but you know that's just that's just how i like my halo games you know they've done a really good job at trying to please the people who love sprint and the people that don't like sprint it's just this game in my opinion is just the start of what's to come for halo for being a fan of the franchise since 2007 uh, or 2008 it's just really nice to see man especially after everything the fan base went through with halo 4 and halo 5 i'm so proud of 343 because they're listening to the community they came out with an update two days after to fix the xp system and they're still looking into the xp system 
and then two or three days later after that they released an, a patch for bug fixes dude like i maybe it's just me because or maybe it's just because of what i'm used to because in the call of duty scene uh normally the devs take forever and maybe i'm being a little impatient when i say that vanguard came out i think a couple weeks ago and they released their first patch update last week yeah it was last week but they didn't fix a lot they fixed some things but they didn't fix a lot it's just crazy to see such an immediate response and it's jarring because we're not used to, or at least i'm not used to quick turnaround times but yeah man that's just kind of what i wanted to come on here and say uh, I do have a statement to say about the whole Activision Blizzard thing and everything that's come out in the past two weeks. Uh, as you guys know, like I have been a Call of Duty YouTuber since like 2016. Um, and I just want you guys to know that like I do not support what is going on over there. That's one of the reasons why I've kind of stopped making videos around that. If you guys re remember, if you guys notice the time that I stopped making videos daily was around the time when those reports first came out. And it's just in my heart, it just it just doesn't i can't do it bro i can't it, it's a really touchy subject and i don't want to take anything away from the people that make our games and the hard work that they put in and the people that are not doing the type of stuff that's in the news but something needs to be done and something needs to someone needs to take action and like i hope that all of this stuff really does get resolved and there is actual change because the things that are going on as far as harassment and things like that all that's it, it's just very wrong it, and it's it's one of those things where it, it just it makes you sick to your stomach so yeah i just wanted to kind of say that and um you know say that i support those people who are walking out and you know doing protests and things like that because of the unfair treatment that they received or they know people that have received unfair treatment or been um harassed or anything like that i don't know when the next video is going to be so i plan on doing this call of duty vanguard review right before halo infinite dropped because I was like, okay, yeah, we'll do the Vanguard review. And then like, I'll end up doing the Halo Infinite review, like right after that. And then Infinite dropped and I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> and, like, because I'm having so much fun playing Halo. But yeah, super proud of 343. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if you guys want more videos like this and me talking about like random stuff. Or not random stuff, but just like my thoughts and stuff like that. Obviously, we're gonna have the really big videos of like me like talking about, uh, you know, my thoughts on games and things like that. But if you guys like this, this type of video, let me know down in the comments as well. And I guess I'll do more of this stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Ow.